afternoon or evening, however when you see this. My name is Kevin Bolin and welcome to my kitchen. This is going to be a homebrew video for all of you home baristas out there. I actually was a home barista making espresso on this Ranchilio Silvia over 10 years ago. But we're going to take our little brother blend today, show you how we like to brew it at St. Frank. It's made up of two coffees, always from small producers that we know and work with. Right now it's comprised half from the Donguayo in Guatemala. The other half is actually from Anael Enamorado from the farm of his sister, Reina, uh, which is called Milagro. The first thing we're going to do is, of course, we have our equipment together. I've already been pre-warming this espresso machine, the Ranchilio Silvia. I've got a Barazza Virtuoso, the CISO grinder here. Also been in my possession making coffee for many, many years. Make sure we also have a scale with us. It's really important. If you want to make high quality, consistent espresso drinks or any coffee at home, you should most definitely be investing in a quality burr grinder and in a scale. We're going to use this to weigh our coffee and to weigh our espresso so our recipe is consistent and right. I recommend a 58 millimeter pour filter. I have a fun little piece of coffee history here in my brew basket is an early prototype BST. So the first thing we're gonna do is weigh out the coffee, see where we're at. So I'm gonna put my porta filter on the scale, making sure that it is not touching the countertop. I'm gonna tear it on my scale to zero. I've already adjusted this really a pretty close to as fine as we can go. 19 gram basket, so I'm looking to put 19 grams in here. I've got a perfect 19 right there. Going old school with the distribution method, really trying to get this nice and even and clean before we tamp. We've got 19 grams of coffee in here. We're still going to use the same scale. I'm going to split this shot right here to make a cappuccino and an espresso. If it's gurgling and steaming, you want to bring the temperature down a little bit. So we're up to temperature, but it's going to be too hot. So that, sh that steam. We want to get rid of the steam, okay? So we're looking for a one to two ratio. Now I've got 19 grams of coffee, so what I want to do next is make sure that I end up with 38 grams of espresso in the cup. So I'm all teared out here, I'm going to hit brew. Okay. So that was 23 seconds. We like our coffee to go a bit slower at St. Frank, but these are really beautiful espresso shots right here. I like to do a little one in fun. So I've got a single espresso um, that I like to enjoy first, and then I'll go to some milk. So you've got a light, uh, a light on the machine that turns on. It tells you when it's heating up. When it's boiling, it turns off when it's at temp. We want to get the most out of this steam right here. I'm going to have to switch to steam mode here in just a second um, to make this cappuccino. I'm going to purge the wand. When you switch to steam mode, the temperature actually needs to go much higher. The light is going to stay on longer so that it gets to that high steam, steam temp. So right now my machine is heating up to get to that steam temperature, which means it's a good time to sit stone root quality. There's even a little bit of a malic acidity, like apples and some even grape that kind of come through on the Milagro component. But the nice milk chocolate, sweet orange qualities from the Guayo are always present. And once the light goes off, see, we got a lot of pressure there. When the light goes off, the heater goes off. So you only have so much time before the steam pressure are actually starts to reduce. So I like to wait a good amount of time while the light is still on so that I get a higher amount of pressure and I trick the machine to stay hotter for longer. And it's going to maintain this rate of pressure as long as I want to steam it. This is the part where you wipe your wand when you're at home and you have one rag. If you use one end for one thing and the other for the other, there's no health department. <laughs> this is one of my old competition cups that I love to drink cappuccinos out of. There 
we go. Cappuccino time. See, I can't help myself as a, as a barista. I turn the cup 